Hello everybody. In today's session, let us learn about what is thyroid gland, where it is located, what are its functions and the effect of under or over performance of thyroid gland and its management. Thyroid disease, it is a common problem resulting in abnormal secretion of thyroid hormones. Over or under function of the thyroid gland is called hypothyroidism or hypothyroidism respectively. Thyroid hormone play a pivotal role in energy production and in maintaining homeostasis. Hypothyroidism is a condition when thyroid gland fails to produce sufficient hormones whereas in the case of hypothyroidism there is excess synthesis of thyroid hormones. The secretion of thyroid hormone is controlled by thyroid stimulating hormone that is TSH which is produced by the anterior pituitary. The pituitary in turn it is regulated by thyrotrophin releasing hormone produced by the hypothalamus. Apart from TRH and TSH, thyroxine that is T4 and triiodothyronine are very important in the regulation of body temperature, utilization of vitamins and certain hormones, growth and maturation of body tissues etc. After going through this module, you will be able to explain the physiology of thyroid gland and its hypo and hyper secretions, learn the causes, symptoms and management of hypo and hyperthyroidism. Having studied what is thyroid gland and hormones it secretes etc. Now let us learn where it is located in the body. Thyroid hormones are synthesized or produced by the thyroid gland which is situated in the front part of the neck that is under the thyroid cartilage it is also called as Adam's apple. The thyroid gland it is shaped like a butterfly and it has two lobes on either side of trachea or the windpipe. Isthmus is the thyroid tissue which connects the both the lobes. Thyroid gland it is made up of two type of cells called follicular cells and C cells. Other than this follicular and C cells, it also contain stromal cells and immune system cells called lymphocytes. Follicular cells produce thyroxine that is T4 and triiodothyronine T3. That is for the synthesis of these hormones, follicular cells need dietary iodine commonly found in iodized salt and certain food substances. Their function is to control heart rate and metabolic rate of the body. The other cell called C cells called parafollicular cells which is less abundant in than the follicular cells produce a hormone called calcitonin. This is essential for maintaining normal calcium levels in the bloodstream. That is it is by controlling the release of calcium from the bones and excreting calcium through urine with the help of kidneys. The function of thyroid gland are regulating the metabolism of macronutrients namely carbohydrate, protein and fat that is lipid, bone remodeling, maturation of central nervous system in infants, maintenance of normal body temperature and helps for growth and maintenance. Let us see the disorders of thyroid hormone. Too much secretions of hormone of follicular cells causes hyperthyroidism whereas under secretion causes hypothyroidism which is controlled by another gland called thyroid stimulating hormone. It is also called as thyrotrophin. Thyrotrophin is released or secreted by pituitary gland in the brain. Now let us learn what happens when the thyroid gland secretes too much hormone. The term hyperthyroidism refers too much production of thyroid hormone in the body. In other words thyroid hormone is thyroid gland is overactive it is also referred as thyrotoxicosis that is high levels of hormone in the blood irrespective of the source. Due to over secretion of thyroid stimulating hormone that is TSH, there will be over circulation of thyroxine that is T4 and triiodothyronine T3 in the bloodstream. Here are some symptoms of hyperthyroidism. I am going to explain some of the symptoms that are indicative of hyperthyroidism in an individual. Significant role of thyroid hormone is to maintain body metabolism. During hypersecretion of thyroid gland, the metabolism of the body hastens 
leading to certain symptoms pertaining to it. The most common symptoms of hyperthyroidism are irritability, nervousness, increased perspiration, heart racing, protruded eyeballs, difficulty in sleeping, anxiety, thinning of skin, fine brittle hair, muscle weakness especially in the thighs and arms, disturbed bowel movements and hair loss. Now, let us understand what causes this hyperthyroidism. The most common cause of hyperthyroidism is Graves disease. That is Graves disease is an autoimmune disease that attacks the thyroid cells leading to the stimulation of more thyroid hormones. The other cause of hyperthyroidism may be the excess dietary iodine that is iodine required to make T3 and T4. Leakage of T3 and T4 from the thyroid gland due to thyroiditis that is inflammation of thyroid gland, tumors of thyroid or pituitary gland, excess sources of thyroxine through medications or supplements. Let us see the types of hyperthyroidism. The disease relate to increased metabolism due to hyperthyroidism are diffuse toxic goiter, toxic nodular goiter, subacute thyroiditis. The other name of this type is called Graves disease. As mentioned earlier, this is the most common among young people. During this condition, the thyroid gland will be swollen slightly. Eye problems such as irritation of the eye, dryness, protruding eyeballs and difficulty in closing the eyelids and with the double vision are most common symptoms. Toxic nodular goiter, it is a type of hyperthyroidism and it is common among elders. The thyroid gland, it is not in proper shape and it will be in rough. This increased metabolic rate may be caused by tumors of the gland and the illness accompanied by the eye problem. Subacute thyroiditis, it is caused by the inflammation of the thyroid gland due to viral infection. Due to inflammation, there is increased release of hormones which are already stored in thyroid gland. Due to this, there will be temporary symptoms of hyperthyroidism along with the swelling and tenderness of the thyroid gland. Let us see the metabolic changes in hyperthyroidism. That is, it includes impact on bone health, metabolism, cardiovascular system and central nervous system. Impact of hyperthyroidism on bone health. It is a clinical syndrome that is thyrotoxicosis is a clinical syndrome which has major impact on bone health. It causes the acceleration of bone remodeling which is a known factor for osteoporosis. This is a reduction in bone mineral density and subsequently increased fracture rate. Controlling the hyperthyroid condition may bring back the bone density and avoid the risk of fractures. Now, let us look at some of the metabolic changes that occur in the body due to hyperthyroidism and also how each system in our body are affected due to this condition that is increased secretion of thyroid hormone. Diverse metabolic activities of many cells are stimulated by thyroid hormones releasing to an increase in basal metabolic rate. Increased body heat production in turn affects the body metabolism when compared with the normal individuals. Lipid metabolism that is high levels of thyroid hormone in the blood stimulates the fat to mobilize leading to increased fatty acids concentration in the plasma. Oxidation of fatty acid also increases in many tissues leading to abnormal level of lipids in the stream. In carbohydrate metabolism, thyroid hormones stimulate insulin dependent entry of glucose into the cell leading to increased glycogenolysis that is breakdown of glycose and gluconeogenesis that is production of glucose from non-carbohydrate sources to liberate more free glucose. Cardiovascular system. Thyroid hormone in the blood tend to increase the heart rate and increases the cardiac output and contractility. They in turn promote vasodilation and enhance the blood circulation. Hypersecretion of thyroid gland. 
affects mental well-being of an individual through anxiety and nervousness. Now let us go through the hypothyroidism condition. Hypothyroidism also called as in underactive thyroid disease which is more prevalent among people. In other words, there is insufficient production of hormone from the thyroid gland. Hypothyroidism is just opposite to hypothyroidism. Here the hormone secretion is insufficient. Now, let us understand the causative factors of hypothyroidism. Similar to Graves disease in hypothyroidism, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, it is the predominant causative factor for hypothyroidism. This is a condition that is one of the autoimmune disorder, this is one type of autoimmune disorder. When this condition prevails in the body, the body produces antibodies that attacks the thyroid gland and destroys it. So viral infection is also reason for thyroiditis. The other reasons for hypothyroidism are radiation therapy, thyroid surgery, radioactive iodine treatment, medications, low iodine intake, pituitary gland disorder and hypothalamus disorder. Radiation treatment for lymphoma destroys the thyroid cells which results in insufficient hormone production. Removing thyroid gland through surgery, it also leads to hypothyroidism. Radioactive iodine treatment, it is usually done to treat hypothyroidism. During this treatment, the cells of the thyroid glands are affected leading to this problem that is hypothyroidism. Certain medications to treat psychiatric conditions, heart problems and cancer or sometimes affect the synthesis of thyroid hormones. For proper synthesis of thyroid hormone, iodine is needed sufficiently. Unfortunately, iodine is not produced in the body. It should be taken through some sources, food sources. The good source of iodine is iodine fortified salt as we all know. Low intake of dietary iodine also leads to hypothyroidism. Pituitary gland disorder. Hypothyroidism due to pituitary gland disorder is very rare. If there is a problem in the pituitary gland, the production of thyroid stimulating hormone that is TSH, it is decreased which ultimately decreases the synthesis of thyroid hormones. Hypothalamus disorder, it is extremely rare where hypothalamus produces less thyroid releasing hormone and it is essential to produce thyroid stimulating hormone that is TSH and this TSH is needed to produce thyroid hormones. Similar to hypothyroidism, the hypothyroidism also has many symptoms. Let us take a look at some of them. The symptoms of hypothyroidism mimic other conditions. The following symptoms are most common that is constipation, depression, dry hair or hair loss, dry skin, changes in the menstrual cycle, fatigue, decreased heart rate, unable to bear cold or sensitivity to cold, goiter and weight gain. Let us see the complications of hypothyroidism. If the condition that is hypothyroidism is not treated, it may lead to joint pain, obesity, heart problem and infertility. Let us learn the remedial action to alleviate the effect of hypothyroidism. The treatment for hypothyroidism includes many. There are many treatments that is the first treatment may be radioactive iodine. In this treatment, it is proven to be safe for the treatment of hypothyroidism. Radioactive iodine is absorbed by the thyroid gland. When consumed, it causes the thyroid gland to shrink within 3 to 4 months till the thy thyroid gland becomes underactive. Medications are needed daily to replace the thyroxine level. Some of the medications that fight hypothyroidism and their side effects on the body are listed below. Antithyroid medications when taken regularly, it reduces the symptom of hypothyroidism by preventing the over secretion of hormones. Benefits can be seen from 6 to 12 weeks from the start of the treatment. The drugs prescribed are propyl thiouracil and methimazole. The side effects 
of these drugs is serious and it may leads to liver damage also. Beta blockers for treatment of hypertension beta blockers are used. Beta blockers they do not reduce the secretion of thyroid gland but it helps to reduce the heart rate and it increases the palpitation in an individual having hypothyroidism. Side effect of these drugs are headache, fatigue, stomach upset, diarrhea, constipation and may be dizziness. Thyroidectomy that is removing the thyroid glands through surgery. If any of the prescribed drugs cannot be tolerated by an individual, surgery that is thyroidectomy is done to remove the thyroid gland but it is extremely rare. This risk of surgery involves damage to the vocal cords and parathyroid glands. Graves ophthalmology as we have seen already Graves disease affects the eyes that is eye balls will be protruding which is the most common symptom of hypothyroidism. To prevent this individuals are advised to avoid bright light avoid using artificial tears and lubricating gels. If the symptom is very severe, corticosteroids are advised to reduce the inflammation behind the eyeball. Food what we eat is medicine. Some food can help to fight the hypothyroidism. They are Goitrogenic foods are the best remedy for patients suffering from hypothyroidism. Goitrogens are substance which inhibit the absorption of iodine into the thyroid gland. The best goitrogenic foods are broccoli, turnip, cauliflower, cabbage, radish, mustard, peanuts, mint, almonds, spinach etc. The foods to be avoided during hyperthyroidism are artificial sweeteners. Celiac disease is the more prevalent in patients with Graves diseases compared to normal individuals and hence gluten or gliadin which is a protein which is present in wheat this containing foods that is wheat should be avoided. Food high in iodine such as sea foods and iodine supplements should be avoided reduce the consumption of dairy products. Here are some practical tips to overcome hypothyroidism that is avoid the intake of foods containing goitrogens like cruciferous vegetables. Soy should be eliminated from the diet as soy suppresses the thyroid functions causing goiter. Alkaline diet should be followed to overcome any chronic diseases including thyroid disorders. Estrogen levels should be balanced. Studies conclude that excess estrogen levels slow down the thyroid gland this can be done by eliminating all birth controlling pills fiber rich diet and avoiding non-organic meat etc growth hormones in the meat induce hormone imbalances as dietary pro products as dairy products are rich in estrogen they should be reduced being physically active helps to reduce the body weight in hypothyroidism subjects and avoid further complications related to it. So being physically active is very important. Use of iodine fortified salt to prevent iodine deficiency is must. Iodine is needed for normal functioning of thyroid gland as we all know. Avoid the source of fluoride as fluoride suppresses the thyroid function. Include more natural fruits and vegetables and avoid processed foods. Including more processed foods can add the burden to immune system. The processed foods like artificial flavors, refined sugars, fructose and corn syrup, preservatives, hydrogenated oils etc. should be avoided. Ancient medications says that pear and apple help to balance the hormones in the body. Zinc and selenium deficiencies also uh, decrease the thyroid hormone in the body. So include foods rich in these minerals. Let us see how yoga, some of the asanas help to overcome thyroid related problems. Practicing yoga during thyroid disorder help to alleviate the symptoms gradually, helps to bring down the symptoms gradually. Yoga is good 
for both hyper and hypothyroidism it is better to consult the physician before starting the yoga some asanas that help to improve hyperthyroidism are sedu bandhasana that is bridge pose majrasana that is catch stretch shishu asana child pose shavasana that is relaxed posture slow pace surya namaskars practiced with mantra chanting gives a soothing effect during hyperthyroidism there is an increase in metabolic rate which tends to increase the body heat so asanas like ujjayini that is breathing asanas like ujjayini brahmari be breath and nadi shodhan and cooling pranayamas like sheetali and sheetkari are effective in bridging the metabolic rate to normal that is bringing down the metabolic rate to normal some asanas that help to fight hypothyroidism are sarvangasana that is shoulder stand the most recommended posture for hypothyroidism is sarvangasana doing this really helps the thyroid gland to stimulate hormones and function properly due to the pressure effect of this asana this asana to simultaneously stimulate the pituitary gland which is indirectly related to the thyroid gland vibharita karani that is inverted pose standing upside down and janu sirasasana one leg toward forward bend and machasana fish pose halasana marjari asana cat stretch and surya namaskars is effective in controlling weight gain and also it helps for this condition also along with the above mentioned yoga asanas pranayamas like kapalapati nadi shodhan bastrika and ujjayini are found to be effective for hypothyroidism there are some herbal remedies available to fight thyroid issues some of the herbs are natural foods that helps in this regard are flax seeds it is a rich source of omega 3 fatty acid it helps for the proper function of thyroid gland that is taking this flax seed 5 grams helps to improve the thyroid function ginger good it is a good source of magnesium zinc and potassium which are very important for thyroid glands it helps to reduce inflammation include ginger in daily diet to overcome this hypothyroidism liquor rice it helps for the promotion of balance between the thyroid gland or within the thyroid gland the compound triterpenoid may help in preventing the growth of invasive thyroid cancerous cells evening primrose this herb is full of amino acids and help to alleviate the symptom of underactive thyroid like hair loss and menstrual problems it reduces the risk of inflammation black walnut it is a rich source of iodine which is needed for the underactive thyroid gland ashwagandha that is vitania somnifera it helps to relieve the most common symptoms of hypothyroidism such as fatigue and irritability to concentrate uh, irritability and inability to concentrate it helps to lower the blood pressure and calm the brain it boosts the immune system of our body the herbs that are used for treating hyperthyroidism are asparagus resimorus that is it helps to maintain the hormonal imbalance in the body it prevents the hypersecretion of thyroid glands and vitania somnifera that is ashwagandha helps to reduce the inflammation and it is a good source of antioxidants hypothyroid tips for the thyroid disorders that is for hypothyroidism we have to take high protein low fat and low carbohydrate diet and include more of fiber rich foods just to meet this fresh fruits and vegetables should be included more in the diet to avoid weight gain soy and cruciferous vegetables like cabbage cauliflower turnip and broccoli should be avoided as they hinder the iodine absorption and decreases the thyroid function include more sea foods as they are the rich source and in both iodine and protein it contains lot of iodine and protein so we have to include exercise daily and practice yoga asanas drink more fluids that is very important for hyperthyroidism one has to include 
cruciferous vegetables and soya in the diet include more fish and antioxidant rich foods to fight infection and inflammation include more of vitamin c rich foods like amla and citrus fruits high calorie diet should be followed to prevent weight loss and malnutrition vitamin supplements should be taken to avoid vitamin deficiency practicing yoga and exercise daily to overcome the symptoms thyroid hormones play a pivotal role in the energy production and in maintaining a normal homeostasis hypothyroidism is a condition when thyroid gland fails to produce sufficient hormones whereas in the case of hyperthyroidism there is excess synthesis of thyroid hormones the secretion of thyroid hormone is controlled by thyroid stimulating hormone that is TSH which is produced by the anterior pituitary the pituitary in turn is regulated by thyrotrophin releasing hormone that is TRH